lovelies welcome to my channel if you are new to the channel via youtube welcome if you are tuning in via instagram welcome y'all know i'm trying to get my instagram game up okay so um today is friday so happy friday to you guys i did not get to do um instagram live yesterday because yesterday was the new moon in virgo so we had the new moon meditation uh so i did not get to jump on live with kelly kells but you still expect that conversation is coming up with kelly kells we'll do that within the next couple of days um on instagram live all right if you have not checked out your monthly you need to do so okay if you are on patreon you do have your ancestor reading as well as the comic reading there and you will be getting the next version of um sacred geometry applied this weekend okay so topping it off we're starting off with the um, earth elements okay if you are a Capricorn if you are a Virgo because it is Virgo season or if you are a Taurus okay this energy could apply to you however if you are not within the earth element or the earth energy you can apply this to the physical realm this is the house the car the bills the relationship the friendships um, the responsibilities that needs to happen within these relationships um, yeah all of that physical stuff this is where this message is gonna apply to you okay now if you are not um, an earth sign you need to know, okay, that um, earth energy sometimes can be a little bit materialistic and um, depending on what particular sign, they can get caught up in their ego, okay? Uh, it is your job not just to master your sun sign that you were born on, my love, but also to master um, all aspects of the zodiac sign because you all aspects of the zodiac sign or 12 aspects are also part of your psyche, okay? So, um, we got the do's, the don'ts, and the advice popping off today, okay? So... Starting off with the dues, you do have the ten of coins in reverse. We want to know why they got the ten of coins in reverse for your dues. Because ten of coins is about getting your money, honey. That's putting in that work. That's that legacy building, honey. That's showing up and putting in the grind. And it's telling you, oh, no, no, no. The dues is saying that's not happening today. Some, your money may be funny today or something's going on with moolah today. All right. The don'ts is saying two of wands in reverse and the advice is popping up with the princess of swords and the knight of coins. So let's kind of clarify this and see exactly why the ten of coins is saying this is your dues energy. Okay. Uh, you can say past energy. Okay. Um, you got temperance and you got nine of cups. So, okay. Bottom line is here. Some of you may have been patient. Okay. Or patiently waiting. Um, some of you may have been patient or patiently waiting for something to change or something to unfold around money. Maybe even around a marriage situation, a living situation, a job situation, or some type of product. Um, um, I don't know why I'm hearing product building. Somebody could have been involved in some type of marketing um, aspect with somebody to promote something that you were doing. Okay, um, For somebody, this is full-fledged. The household is not in order. Full-fledged, there could be some type of separation um, um, or of a union, you know, a separation of assets, separation of households, okay? Somebody feel like they've been patient, but they have not gotten their wish fulfilled, okay? Um, somebody feel like they're patient and they have not gotten their wish fulfilled, okay? You do have the Ten of Cups popping off here in um, reverse. This is, um, this is manipulation going on here. And not only is it manipulation, this can be a little bit, um, hmm... And this is probably why they're saying, um, you're going to have to watch your money today, okay? And watch your patience today, especially if things are not, um, I want to say, unfolding. Uh, fairly is the word that's coming up. If shit ain't fair, and you're dealing with somebody that has like a very, I don't know, but this energy with the king of coins and the king of cups is not an intuitive. This person knows you very well. OK, somebody knows you very well. It could be some emotional play here. This is somebody that you've been patient with. They're saying today, today is not the, the day to, to be naive. You won't have to trust your intuition because you could be coming up against some type of um, manipulative um, energy, very aggressive energy, maybe even aggressive around the living situation, the housing situation or the working situation. If this person has control of money, they may be doing some fuckery today or some um, power trip today. Ooh, somebody's in a power power trip today okay somebody's showing power trip energy today okay so if you need to put your foot down someplace around money today okay you may have to do so what i'm hearing is i'm feeling myself i'm feeling myself 
I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself. That's what I'm hearing. Up, oh, see? Yep. All right. Conflict and defeat is popping off in the do section today. So you need to be mindful of that. But you need to know that you're going to be triumphant. The overall message today is if you're going to pretend like you're naive and you're stupid, um, you need to know that you are dealing with somebody that's manipulating you. OK, now, if you are the one doing all of this fuckery, my wonderful earth signs, you need to know whoever is involved in this mess that you are trying to finesse. They are going to be successful. They see the conflict. Okay, they see the conflict. Somebody know you're manipulating them. Yeah, somebody is quite aware that they are being manipulated, honey. Okay. In the don't section, they're saying this don't have no future. Two of wands in reverse. Somebody's afraid of the future. Whatever this is, they don't have any future. The truth is going to come out if it has not already come out. All right, this number card equals the number five. Number 23 equals the number five. Five represents change. Something is going to change within the dynamics of the relationship, okay? What is this change? Just so you know, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. This change is written in the stars, okay? Ooh, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There's going to be some type of change that's going to be, I, I want to say, okay, bottom line is if you want Earth sign, if you've been doing some fuckery, all right, if you want to earn sign and you've been doing some fuckery, okay, because we got the Wheel of Fortune on the board too. Wheel of Fortune on the board, just so you know, we're dealing with Jupiter energy. We could be dealing with Sagittarius' energy. Wheel of Fortune energy is supposed to be about expanding something, making something bigger. Ain't shit being expanded here. Somebody is tapping into their heart, honey. And uh, yeah, ain't no planning of no future going on here. And that is because outside influences is happening. But you need to know that this is written in the stars. Somebody may have been trying to hold on to something that, mm, yeah, look at this, the chariot. Chariot is popping through. Sense of direction is coming through. You may not have, mm -hmm, look at the six of wands, see? Somebody fell from grace. Somebody may have felt that they had a future. Or this, or whatever this situation is, it was going towards a future. Uh, um, I'm, I'm sorry to tell y'all, but um, the uh, the star card is showing up here and saying, yeah, the future is. Uh, this shit is not going to work. Whatever this is, there's a lot of negative external forces coming up against this. This is why you be feeling like there's no direction. This six of wands energy. Somebody felt from grace, and somebody would have felt from grace if you fucking with. Let me tell y'all something right now. I know this is the earth sign. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, and right off the back, I'm gonna tell you right now, a Taurus, and even a, even a Virgo. If you fucking with their money, this is not gonna be right for you. This is not gonna work out well for you. And I just want to say, if it's a Capricorn, a Virgo, or um, a Taurus, that the, you know, if you the one, if you are the one, okay, doing the fuckery, you need to know this person is doing a whole lot of uh, communicating about what they finna do, but they trying to be methodical about their move. They making moves, and their moves is methodical, okay? Eight of coins, they putting in that work. They about, okay, let me just tell you right now, Okay. Whoever you're trying to deal with or whoever is doing the fucking right here, you need to know whoever it is you are trying to feel like you're getting one up against or you're coming up against, they're going to be successful. They're going to be triumphant. Um, you need to be mindful of operating integrity. So I'm pretty sure if it's you, if you are the one, my wonderful earth signs doing the fuckery, you need to know somebody going to call you out on your shit. This is not going to work out well for you. Whoever is the one that is dealing with lack of integrity, this is not going to work out well for you. If, um, the, you know, whoever is actually not doing the fuckery and really trying to get this shit together, this is going to work out in your favor. You got the eight of coins popping off here with the three of cups energy. That's beautiful energy to end with. I kind of feel like somebody's methodically um making their moves to exit or making somebody's methodically thinking about the steps that they need to do to move forward okay somebody see you somebody's on a power trip but somebody see your ass okay all right let's get through the wonderful ear energy that's gonna be gemini that's also gonna be libra as well as sagittarius okay what am i saying gemini libra and aquarius not sagittarius gemini libra and aquarius not sagittarius okay um um let me just send this text message uh gemini libra and aquarius okay if you are not a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, this message is going to apply to your thinking, your spiritual and your mental thinking. This is all up in your head shit, okay? So let's take a look at your do's and your don'ts today. What is the message for the do's and the don'ts? What you want my wonderful ear signs to know? 
if you are not an air sign, once again, this is your thinking, your spiritual and your mental thinking. All right, somebody right off the back, we got some mental black magic going on. Somebody could physically be doing something. We're going to clarify. Okay, the justice card is popping up in the dues section. Somebody is lying about something for one's energy, and this could be involving around a group, a family, um, some type of um, union. This is, a, you know, this is some type of relationship. Um, or some type of team together. Somebody's lying about something here, okay? The judgment card, okay? Yep, something is going to be called out. When this is called out, somebody might play naive or act like they didn't know, okay? Somebody might, you see, come on there, come on with it. Somebody's going to be lying and acting like they don't know. Like they don't know what the fuck they did. Overall energy in the board is you're going to have to pay attention to your intuition. We got heavy crown chakra energy popping up here, which means that you're getting some type of intuitive shit coming in. Whether or not you want to pay attention to those intuitions, no, that's on you. But intuition is coming through clearly, okay? Now, you on your don't section, you do have the knight of coins. The knight of coins energy is methodical and somebody that's steadfast, somebody that's in something for the long haul, right? And they're saying right here, if they lying about something, honey, there's a lot of um, conversation. There's a lot of talking. Okay, and there's a lot of talking about building things together and creating and doing things together. But if somebody lying about, mm hmm, look at this six of swords moving towards the future, something better. There's a lot of talking about moving towards the future and building something together, not looking at the past, moving forward, right? Not a source energy, but this is, see, this communication is coming in here, and I kind of feel like with this communication, a liar has no memory, is what I'm hearing. A liar don't got no memory. So, if you um, tend to be on the, the end of constantly lying, um, this person might not remember the things that they said or their story may change um, every time they tell that story. It may change, okay? Um, there's communication going on. The overall energy on the board right now is the throat chakra, which means a lot of communication. The only thing about that communication is I kind of feel like with this Knight of Wands energy, somebody could be a little frustrated. And when their communication is coming through, it may be a little bit. I don't know why I'm feeling like even on the disrespected end. Right? I feel like, um, cause clarifying this, uh, huh? Right here. This is the advice card. The advice card is telling you somebody's mentally, could be mentally pulling on you. Mental, this, this person could be talking about you behind your back. This person could physically be going to, um, you know, depending on what type of shit they're into, they could actually be cooking up a spell or something. Um, but this is definitely a lot of negative talk. This could also be your relationship with yourself, that negative self-talk and lie to yourself. There's definitely some lies going on. Somebody's very intuitive. There's some type of deception going on here. They're saying, don't put in all your time and energy into this, whatever this is. You don't want to give too much energy to whatever this is. King of Coins, energy, somebody's, um, I want to say, um, very rigid in their thinking. It's do what I do, you know, do what I say, not what I do. Don't pay attention to what I do type things, okay? Um, especially when it comes to, and this person or, 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 or this energy could be um, someone um, or a situation that you know very well. You're very familiar with this situation, okay? Queen of Wands energy is popping up here, followed by the Three of Cups energy. Yep, Queen of Wands energy is saying you don't have to take your power back. Move forward with everything that you've learned. Everything that you've learned, you need to move forward with that today because somebody's lying. And you know that. Intuitively, you know that. Yep. And that's probably why you've been kind of cold and bitchy lately too. Or that's probably why they've been kind of cold and bitchy, right? Queen of Wands energy say, though, you, you got the information. You got the knowledge. Now, what you finna do with it? You gonna move forward or you gonna be stuck? You know they lying. You know they lying. You know there's some deception. You know that you're ready to move forward and get past some things. Base chakra going on, the root chakra. What grounds you? What's grounding you, right? What's grounding you? Base chakra is trust, money, abundance, right? This is where you you have family issues, all right? This is where um, uh, you develop um, your your uh, you develop the relationship with abundance, with stability, security. Okay, yep. Once you develop that, it's saying here you got a positive movement forward, but you're gonna have to accept the truth, honey. What lies you tell is what I'm hearing. What lies you tell? Oh, what lies you tell? You got one person on the power trip and then you have somebody lying. A liar and a narcissist. A liar and a narcissist so far. All right, y'all. Okay. 
Somebody lying. Y'all know. Positive movement forward. You're going to have to step up. Okay. Let's do this. We got um the wonderful water energy. We're going to start off with the water signs. Okay. Um, that's going to be Pisces, Cancer, as well as Scorpio energy. If you are not a water sign, you can apply this energy to your feelings, your emotions. Okay. Your feelings and your emotions. What is the do's and the don'ts and the advice? What is the do's, the don'ts, and the advice? All right. Two of Cups energy. Things are out of alignment. You may have to bring some things into balance, especially emotionally. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, okay? Um, and whatever this is, especially when it comes to things not being in alignment, um, this could also represent a breakup or separation. Somebody don't feel so strong. Somebody's dealing with um, with things in a, in a space of co um, your confidence is concerned. Somebody thought that this was going to work or this should have worked, okay? So somebody feel like this should have worked or thought that this was going to work. You got the Empress here followed by the Three of Coins. Uh, it kind of feels like somebody felt like what I'm getting is like power couple energy. Somebody felt like we could have been a power couple, okay? Um, yeah, there's one person that, that I clearly hear like, you know, you felt like this could have been the power couple. Somebody, somebody's here that may definitely be dealing with some karmic pattern things because of the solar... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the, the Sacral Chakra Energy, which talks about um, um, addictions, but it also talks about codependency. This is also where you can find um, trauma um, linked to karmic patterns, a.k.a. who's a common denominator in these relationships and these situations that keep showing up. The Empress Energy, like I said, is showing up and thinking somebody thought something can grow here, but there was not enough confidence. Um, things were just not in alignment. And I don't know if you were dealing with someone that picked at your self esteem. That could have been possible, okay? Whatever this was, this ten of coins is popping up here in reverse in your dunks and ten of coins is saying with the six of wands energy somebody may not have felt confident enough as far as their role in maybe a marriage situation or their role in the, the what they play as far as the community is concerned all right yep this is my mental black magic card. Either somebody is um, doing magic. Now, we got the Empress energy on the board. That's Venus. So we could be talking about Libra's energy or also Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with the Libra or Taurus here. Now, somebody's definitely pulling on somebody. Or this, Whatever this situation is, it's an emotional situation. So it's dealing with stock with chakra energy, relationships, codependency. Maybe some type of addiction. And it could be sexual addiction. Somebody could be addicted to the sex, although the relationship is toxic. Because this is toxic. Somebody's in despair here. Somebody's in despair here because their house or their family or whatever it is, whatever it is they were codependent on, it's now gone upside down. Okay? So when somebody's in despair, they can do some really ugly, fucked up shit. Right? Yep. Advice section, the Wheel of Fortune is upside down. Somebody's having a very difficult time right now. Very difficult time. There's a lot of external things going on that's causing this person to... to um, I, somebody here is probably getting their karmic return. Princess of Cups is in reverse. This person is definitely um, immature. Okay? You're dealing with immature energy. The Tower card is in reverse. Somebody's afraid of the change that's coming in. But the Death card with Temperance is all, also here. Change and transformation is coming in. And let me just tell y'all something here. With this Temperance in reverse, somebody don't got no patience for this change that's coming in. You could be straight up dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with an Aries. Okay, and so you got um, Taurus or Libra on the board, Scorpio on the board, um, Aries on the board, and Sagittarius on the board. All right, so you have a few energy that you could be interacting with. Overall energy is today, make sure you gain your emotions in control. There's definitely a tower moment coming. There's definitely a tower moment coming, okay? So you're going to have to gain um, gain your emotional control before moving forward, okay? Look at this. Yeah, because you're going to be tempted. You're going to be tempted. You will be tempted, okay? So you're going to have to move accordingly, honey, all right? You do have base shock for going on also. What's grounding you? This is um, family. This is um, trust, 
Okay, this is stability. All right, so you will be tempted. Something is coming in maybe to kind of um, shake up your foundation in that area. And stop with shock where this is that same energy I've been talking about, karmic pattern. What in your life and who in your life keeps showing up and repeating the same type of lesson that you haven't got? And usually the common denominator is you, okay? Usually the common denominator is you. If you can gain a balance of your emotions, you'll be able to get through this, my love. It's a lot of emotional energy on the board. You have dominant energy of heart chakra and sacral chakra energy, all right? That means emotions, emotions, and emotions, especially with this new moon in Virgo that just went down. Come on with it, y'all. Okay. Now, let's do, last but not least, the wonderful fire energy, okay? If you are a Leo... A Sagittarius on the Aries, this message will apply to you. If you are not a Leo, a Sagittarius on Aries, my love, you can apply this message to movement, action that needs to be taken, passion or less, just depending on what the situation is, okay? Wheel of Fortune in reverse, some of you, okay, could be dealing with a, um, um, you could be dealing with, um, who's Jupiter? Jupiter is Sagittarius also, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Um, Okay. Okay. So some of you have some external forces. Some of you could be experiencing something. Um, a lot of external drama. Queen of Wands energy is in reverse. This lets to me. I kind of feel like because you feel like there's a lot of push coming in externally from people that you love and people that you love have a lot to say maybe about whatever it is you're doing, whether it's going back to school, whether it's starting your own business, whatever it is you feel... Um, Whatever it is you feel like you're now moving forward with, okay, um, you could be experiencing some pushback with people that you know, or you could just be experiencing some pushback um, from the external world, okay? The Queen of Wands energy in reverse is asking you to stand up and not shrink back and maybe not be too aggressive, but use your um, third eye energy. Use your perception. Use your discernment. Trust your intuition, okay? Don't get too caught up in your heart area because your heart can... You see, look at this. Your heart can keep you here, trap, right? But you're here with this eight of swords in reverse. Somebody wants to break free from something. Somebody wants to break free from something. I feel like somebody don't want to dispel so much energy. I feel like somebody's in a situation where they feel like they've given enough energy and they've done enough and now they just don't want to. They want the chips to fall where they may. And that's another thing I'm hearing. Let the chips fall where they may. Let the chips fall where they may. You got the two of coins popping up in reverse, followed by the hang woman. Okay, so some type of decision is going to have to be made um, about bringing things into balance. Who are you prioritizing? What are you prioritizing? Who do you put first? What are you putting first? Okay, you're going to have to make some decisions on do people or certain circumstances get put more, um, more in the forefront than they need to? Do people get more energy or situations get more energy than it needs to? Right? Yep, because you are disappointed about something. And I kind of feel like this disorganization and this, this wavy back and forth is because you need to make a decision. Right. Once you make that decision, and, and, and it's an emotional decision, once you make that decision, you're going to be fine because the decision is going to be because you want to be in a place where it's a give and take. You don't want to be in a position where somebody's just taking advantage. Okay, It, it has to be like a give and take. Princess of Cups energy is saying, pay attention to the synchronicities. Pay attention to the synchronicities. Pay attention to the people around you. Okay. The five of swords in reverse could mean that somebody's either holding on to past resentments or they want to move forward, all right? Because it's clarified with the six of swords, this lets me know somebody really wants to move forward, okay? There may be some truth coming out. You may be clearly telling somebody the truth. Clearly telling somebody the truth here. Somebody may be clearly getting the truth about something here, okay? Yeah. The devil card is also showing up. You're reclaiming your power. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here also, know that okay take your power back take your power back right that's gonna be important material and spiritual prosperity is yours but you're gonna have to take your power back rejoice and celebrate i kind of feel like this is where you're gonna have to fake it till you make it which means stop telling people your business if you on the verge of manifestation you need to apply the manifestation rules which means if you are trying to manifest and grow something you can't keep sharing with people that don't think the things that you're trying to manifest and change can't happen 
right? That's like kind of going against the grain, right? So be mindful today that you have a choice to reclaim your power, but you're going to have to let go of some stuff. You know the deal. You know the truth. Decisions is going to have to be made about where you spend your time or with whom you spend your time or how much time you take to dedicate towards something, okay? Um, be mindful of this, okay? You control your own reality. You can give your power away or you can utilize your power to get experience and achieve the things that you want to in life right okay with that being said i'm gonna see y'all in tomorrow's daily vibration my love happy fridays to you all right hop on over to youtube we will be doing paid forward fridays where i'm going to be doing live readings okay peace love and light to each and every one of you i'm gonna see you guys in tomorrow's vibration bye my loves